Welcome back. My name is Trisha Jagtiani and I am back with another important advanced excel function and that is this function. There are number of is functions in excel and these functions are known as information functions. And that is because they evaluate a value or the cell reference and return the logical true or false depending on whether the value is or is in the type for which the function tests. In this tutorial we will learn functions like is blank is number is text is error is na is even is err function let's start with the is text function is text is used to evaluate whether this value or the cell referenced contain a text entry so i in my database i am going to check if the cell that is given here that is v5 contains a text if it contains a text excel will automatically give me the result as true if it doesn't contain a text it is going to give me the result as false now i'll copy the date or the formula down and see what is give me wherever there is a text it will automatically give me the result as true or the result will be false moving to the next function which is the is number function similar to the is text is number as the name suggests is going to check if the cell referenced contains a number so i'll check in my database if the cell that is given in the database contains a number so the first one does not contain a number but i'm going to check for the rest of them if it contains a number if you see the rest of them wherever there is a number excel automatically give me the result as true whereas the rest of them shows as false moving to the next one on the database there is an is error function the is error function is used to evaluate whether this value or the cell referenced contains an error value and this includes the hash na error too so i am going to check is error if the cell contains the error value by using the is error function you will see that now it gives me the true answer because the first one has the error value as hash na like i said the is error can also check for the values as hash na there is another function just opposite to is error which is called as as is err it uses the same syntax and it has the same result but in this case it will check for all the errors except the hash na error so i am going to use the is err in order to check if the cell contains an error but it will exclude all the cells that contains the hash na error so here you can see that the hash na it is showing as false because i am using the is err but for rest of them it is showing as true moving to the next function that is the is even function as the name suggests it is going to check if the cell reference contains an even number if it contains an even number it should give the result as true if it contains an odd number it should give it the result as false so i'm going to check is even open the bracket there is this even number is going to be true while the odd number is going to be false so i'm just changing the error there so is even open the bracket let's check in the database there is a list of numbers given i'm going to check if these numbers which are given are even or odd if it is even it will give me the result as true if it is odd it is going to give me the result as false so when i drag the result you will see that wherever there is an even number it has given me the true value even number is your 2 4 6 so multiple of 2 is all your even number or any number that is divisible by 2 is your even number rest are all odd numbers moving to the next one just like there is even there is odd works and gives you the result as true if the cell contains the odd number which is the number that is divisible by 3 or any number that is a multiplication of 3 so then is odd 
I will check in my database if it contains odd number or the even number. To check that, I can use the is odd. Is odd will work exactly opposite to is even and give me the true result if the number is odd and false result if the number is even. Moving to the last function on the list, which is the is blank function. As the name suggests, it is going to check if the cell contains a blank value or the cell is blank. So I'll select the cell and check if it is blank. Now, if I enter any value here, it will automatically give me the result as false. So here we have seen how your is function works in Excel. However, these functions are very useful when mixed up with any other logical functions like if. Let's say I want to check with the is text, wherever there is a text value, the result should show as text. Wherever there is non-text value, the result should show as non-text. So let's start with the is text function. I'm going to say if, I'll start with an if because I'm going to use the logical text inside and use the if text inside the if function to see or to give a logical Test. My logical test will be is text check whether B5 contains text. If it does, then the value if true will be text. So I'll put it in the inverted commas. If it is not a text, the answer should be non text. So I'll put it in the inverted commas. In value if false, close the bracket and enter. Here I will see that Excel automatically checks whether the cell contains. The data as text or it contains a non text value and accordingly give me the result. Similarly, you can use it with other functions like is even or is odd. So, if I want to use the if function with the is even, I am going to select or I am going to start with if function. In the logical test, I am going to check is even and I'll give the cell reference where I want to check if it is even. In the value if true, I will enter the value as even. And in value is false, I will say odd value. So close the bracket. Wherever Excel finds the value as even, it is going to give the result as even. If it finds the value as non-even, it is going to give the result as odd. So this is how you can mix your function, that is is function, with the if function, which is the another logical function, and get the desired result. So this was about how you can use it with the if function, but you can use the if function with other uh, commands also. For example, you can use it with the conditional formatting. Now, conditional formatting is used to only format those cells where the condition is fulfilled. We have also seen in the conditional formatting with formulas that you can use the formulas to identify the cells which fulfills a certain condition and give than the particular formatting. This function, which we have learned now, this function can also be used with the conditional formatting and to evaluate any cell where the is text or is number is true and give the particular color. So let's see, before we start with the next function that is using the is function with the conditional formatting, I would want to tell you or explain you some other rule. In Excel, wherever you see a date, it is actually a number which is converted into the date format. And why do I say that? There is a conclusion to that. If I enter any text in Excel, it will automatically align itself to the left hand side. That is the rule. If I enter any number in Excel, it will align itself to the right. Now let's check where does your date align when I enter in Excel. So if I enter a date in Excel, it automatically aligns itself to the right. Now we already know that when I enter number in Excel, it will align to the right. If date is also aligning to the right, we can conclude that your date is also a number, but it is only formatted in such a way to show it as a date. Now, moving to the next sheet to see how we can use the conditional formatting using the is function in that. 
I am going to show you that there is in the uh, example I have the order date which is given. This order date, like I mentioned earlier, is actually a number, but it is only formatted in such a way that it shows you as date. However, I I am very sure that in this cells or in this column there are few dates which are not properly formatted why do i say that if i go on to filter and check you sh you would see that there are few dates which are not grouped in the year which is shown here so it says 2019 2018 2017 it should all the dates should automatically group into this however you can very well see that there are few dates which are showing at the bottom the reason being they are not formatted as a date or they have been formatted into text or not properly formatted and hence it is showing below and it is not grouped in one of these years well you can see there is 2018 it should have come under 2018 2017 should have gone under 2017 but that is not what is happening now i want to check or i want to color all those cells where the formatting is not correctly done so then I will use the is function inside conditional formatting. But which is function? So we have already seen that all the date is supposed to be numbers. And hence I can check for all the cells where there is no numbers. In order to do that, I can use the is number function. So in the first place, I'm going to select the cells where I need the coloring to be done or the formatting to be done. Go to conditional formatting under new rule. I will select the use of formula to determine which cell to format. Then under the format values where this formula is true, I am going to enter equal to and our function is number. Open the bracket. The only issue with entering any function inside conditional formatting is that you will not be able to see the syntax. So here you will have to remember the syntax in order to enter any function. So now we know when we enter is number, there is the syntax says value. So I'll have to enter the value. The first cell I'll have to select in order to check if it is a number. Again, like we have already seen in the conditional formatting video, we will have to remove the dollar sign in order to remove the constant from it and make it relative reference. So once I have closed the bracket, select the format or the color that I want to add if this condition is fulfilled. Then I will say yellow, click on OK and say OK. Wherever it is a number, that means it is properly formatted in the date, it will automatically show in that color. For the rest of them, it will show me not non-colored. You can, I can also use the other function, which is the text function, and it will change the color from this to the ones where the text is there and the date is not properly formatted. For example, let me go back to the conditional formatting and remove the rule from the entire sheet. Select the column again in the conditional formatting in the new rule. This time I'm going to use the is text to identify wherever there is an error. So is equal to is text, open the bracket. This time I'm using is text and identifying all the cells where there is text. So now I'm going to remove the constant value, which is the dollar sign. Select the format and make it yellow. So I, it will only check for the cells where there is an error in the date format. So these are the dates which are not correctly formatted and they are not in the number format and hence it is showing you the error so here this is how you can highlight all the dates which are not correctly formatted in the excel but not only can you use it with dates but you can use it with any other value also like you can use it with text you can use it with number you can use it with even odd blank if you want to identify any cell where, where it is blank you can also use the conditional formatting and use is blank to identify or color all the cells where the cells are blank. Hope you found this video useful.
keep watching we are going to cover the is error function along with the v lookup so it will check wherever there is an error when i do a v lookup and it will give me a result according if the error is true or it will give me another result if the error is false so keep watching for more videos thank you for watching bye bye to know more follow and subscribe to upgrad